What's up guys, NBA Talk. Today's November 30th, 2018. Um, Friday basketball for you. Here to talk about the Toronto Raptors versus the Golden State Warriors, which was a big time game last night. Um, just to note, I will not be posting any videos for tonight's games um, because I have a film project I have to do. I have to film up, well I have to set up my set. Um, and then tomorrow I shoot. So I might be missing for Friday and Saturday. So just to let you know, because this project is going to be long. It's going to take some time to finish, so I might not be able to push any videos out. So that being said, let's get into the video. Toronto versus Golden State in Toronto Raptors Arena. Um, Toronto got that win, but barely in overtime. Uh, 131 to 128 in overtime. Uh, Toronto Raptors was very good in the first half. Passing the ball pretty good. Um, and limiting the, uh, the turnovers. They were not turning the ball over in the first half. In the second half they were. Uh, Kawhi Leonard was phenomenal. Siakam. Every time I talk about the Toronto Raptors. I have to talk about Siakam. Because this guy has been the real deal. I think he's definitely one of the most improved players of the year. He's a, definitely a candidate of that. Uh, Serge Ibaka. Kyle Lowry in his passing. He was not turning the ball over. And he was getting a lot of assists. Uh, Danny Green was doing some good things. And he got people off the bench like Venetunas doing some good things. The problem with the Toronto Raptors is that they allowed the Golden State Warriors to keep themselves in the game. The Golden State Warriors were almost down by 20. And they found themselves climbing themselves back up again. KD leading the charge. He was not getting that much help. They, were, they, they started playing defense. That was a very positive about it. But their offense was definitely missing. Um, like Klay uh, Thompson was doing some good things. But he was missing more than he was making. Then you have Jerry Kinko doing some. He, he was doing some very good things coming off the bench. Bench player doing some very good things. Uh, he has been a very good asset acquiring of this offseason. Um, yeah, they kept themselves in this game. And KD ended up pushing it. Um, getting the uh, tie in the fourth quarter. Sending it into overtime. He had one three-pointer. That big, um, like, he ran into the baseline. Got stopped by Kawhi Leonard. Went to the three-point line. Shot it in his face and made it. How many people who could say that? That's crazy. That, that's probably the biggest highlight of that game. How KD scored it on Le, um, Kawhi Leonard. That's tough to say, man. Really tough to say. But in the end, the, uh, the Raptors were able to main them t maintain themselves. Even though the Warriors are right neck for neck for them. But they were able to get those three points. Those three points on the Golden State Warriors and get that win. So that's pretty much it to say. Um, Golden, uh, uh, Toronto Raptors shot 52% from the field, 39% from the three, 37 rebounds, 25 assists, and 14 turnovers they made. While the Warriors made 48% uh, from the field, 36% from the three point range, 46 rebounds, 27 assists, 14 turnovers. So that's pretty much it to say. Um, Raptors, you had Kawhi Leonard with 37 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists. Kyle Lowry with 10 points, 12, 12 assists, 8 rebounds. 13 points from Danny Green. He makes 3 out of 6. Siakam with 26 points, 2 rebounds. Just phenomenal job from him. Shooting the 3 ball, 3 out of 4. Serge Ibaka, 20 points, 4 rebounds. Did a good job. And Venetune is off the bench with 12. And DeLon Wright with 8 points. Playing 12 minutes. So that's pretty much it for the Toronto Raptors. They got to do a better job of making sure their opponents are staying down. The Golden State Warriors, the defending champs, they have to learn. Well, the Toronto Raptors have to learn to put them down for the count. Do not let them get any momentum. That's, that's, that was the only problem that was going on with the Raptors. 
in this game. Just allowing the Golden State Warriors to keep up and tie this game up in the end. The Golden State Warriors, like, they don't really have that much, um, they have excuses because Stephen Curry, out. He won't be back until tomorrow, which is going to be a big deal because in a few weeks, these two teams will face each other again in the Oracle Arena in Golden State. We don't know the timetable for uh, Draymond Green, but for sure, Stephen Curry is coming back, which is going to be devastating for everybody in the NBA. Um, so, yeah. That's going to be crazy. This team was not even fully healthy and was able to keep up with the Raptors. Kevin Durant put on an absolute show. 51 points, 11 rebounds, 6 assists, 18 from 31 from the field, 4 for 7 from the 3, 11 from 12 from the free throw line, and only one turnover. Phenomenal job. 23 points from uh, Klay Thompson. He was 9 for 20. And Jerk Kinko. With 20 points and 9 rebounds and 3 assists. And that's pretty much it to say. Golden State Warriors fall to five, 15 and 8. I believe so. Yeah, 15 and 8. While the Toronto Raptors are 19 and 4. Great job from the Toronto Raptors. But in a few weeks, you're going to face this team again. And they're going to have Stephen Curry back. Which is not going to be good for you. And you're going to be on the road. So, tough luck. So, peace out for this video.